And a moment ago, at the eighth, Freddie Couples, the winner back in 1990 and 1992. Uh, we're going to love that one. Needed that. Cut is looking like uh, two over. Although it just it just jumped, but you have 85 players at plus three or uh, better. Uh, so Nick will drop. Freddie for par at nine. Really quick coming mm. down the hill, swinging to the right. The degree of difficulty on a downhill left to right to here is way more difficult than uh, anything else. You agree with Matt Gogol, as tough as any greens on tour? Oh, uh, yes, I do. They, they're like saucers. They, they're, just, they're just turning all the time. 300 yards today. Fred Couples going with driver. Well, Kurt Yersey, one of his contemporaries, Lanny Watkins, said, don't hit the driver. <laughs> he didn't listen. Yeah. Oh, how about this drive? Boy, is that rare to find the green off the tee. Only a couple times so far this week have players been able to keep it on the green. Wow, this is a fabulous goal shot. This is Freddie at his best, can still hit it out there. It's all about tempo, isn't it? It's, it's got a unique swing, aims left, but it's fluid, so he keeps his head still, you know, throughout the swing, but it's just got great fluidity for the guy in his 50s. He's had plenty of back trouble. Lenny Watkins is watching today, but he texted me yesterday. He said, why aren't these guys laying it back off the tee? That's the only way to play this hole, but Fred Couples has won here twice as well. Lanny won here twice. A lot of different opinions on how to play this hole. They're both in the Hall of Fame. Yeah, that's when you know it's a good hole and there's different ways to play it. Yeah, it's uh, no question one of the great short holes, short par fours in golf. No question about it of the greens but how good Riviera is right now conditioning wise they just are amazed at how good it is couples for birdie slamming it in the back 33rd time Fred couples has played here in the Northern Trust Open amazing loves the golf course this and Augusta National his two favorite golf courses on tour Right now, he plus two, that's the cut. 70 players at plus two or better. Now, Freddie. Well, Freddie's got 288 all the way back to the hole, 263 to the front. He's got a little overhanging branch that he's either got to go under or he's got to play a draw around. Breezes ever so slightly left to right, which makes it hard to turn it back into it. I expect he should take it underneath that branch as much as he likes to cut the ball. Trying to draw it back towards the whole location. Start at the right bunker. Let's see if it turns enough. Wow, that is a long carry there. Fred Couples. This is a place he certainly knows well. Now, Couples coming off a of birdie at the previous hole, the 10th. In fact, he's gone birdie, bogey, birdie his last three holes. Trying to do a little bit better here. I don't know how that lies, though. It, Phil Blackmart looks like it's just kind of sitting down. It is a little, but he can get the club cleanly onto the back of the ball, so that really helps. He's going to have to run it through the Kikuyu grass, and the fact that it's so dry right now really helps. It's running through better than normal, but this grass can really grab it. Makes it hard to predict how it's going to do when it lands. It looks like he's almost taking his putting grip and playing it kind of like just to drop it on the back and just kind of swing through like a putter. Hit it. That just shows you that's the trick around here at Riviera. Well, that was impressive. Now, Freddie, can you impress us with a birdie here? Go back to back birdies. Looks like he tugged it left. Well, that's disappointing. Two giant shots for couples. Lands that three wood right on the front part of the green and uh, just a little bit of a bad break to go over and back to 12 and couples just off the fairway. As ball just slithered into the left rough, what a difference six inches makes, 168 yards. Breeze back into his face, and it's a whole location that it just sits there and it just dares you. It just snickers and says, come on, come right at me and bring that <laughs> yeah. big bunker into play, doesn't it, Nick? It's just a, one of the great fours. 
Fifteen five zero. Fifty-five years old. Fifty-five years old now. A couple of wins on the Champions Tour last year. Twelve, by the way, the hardest hole on the golf course yesterday. A little easier today. Sixth most difficult. Can he just try and land it five paces on? That's all you're trying to do in the middle section. And just hope you get a good bounce. But lost it. Mm. Oh, and that's deep down there. And not a whole lot to work with. And Freddie here at 12. Well, this would be a very nice up and down for par out of that deep bunker on the right hand side. The ball was above his feet. He played a nice shot to here. Riviera demands you in the course of a round to have to make some par saves. You just you just can't go around without having some six, eight, ten footers for par. Tacking or jiving. Now at 13, couples in the bunker way short of the green. He caught the trees off the tee. Tough bunker shot here. Long one. Boy, he just, wow. Not too unhappy with that one, is he? No, he sliced that one right out of there, didn't he? <laughs> And eventually, Bubba shot 64-64 the final two days, and it was 15 under the winning score, but it's been so tough. All right, let's see if Fred Couples can save par. And he can. For a par, Kurt. Boy. What, a 50-yard bunker shot, Phil? Absolutely, and he had a terrible eye back off the tee, too, in the rough. That's a great four. A good save, so he remains right around the cut line. Oh, I'm definitely wrong. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Freddie, now that whole location on nine paces. So really, you need to carry it on about two. So well, I'm sticking to what I know, and that is he has a six iron as well. Okay. He likes to draw his irons and fade his driver. So it's a little uncomfortable with the breeze. It's really kicking up a little bit more right now than it has all day, even all week. Flight this pretty good into the breeze to get it there with a six iron 185. Now it looks like a better line than where Jordan Spieth hit it, and it is. Even with Fred Couples, as much club head speed as he generates, which the bad news is he's two over par, and that's sitting right on the edge of the cut line. And I know he wants to be around for the weekend. Tracking. Tracking. Yeah. Still's got it. You know, he still has that uh, ability to make you feel like cheering for the guy. So Fred Couples gets back to one over par. Six iron here as well. Freddie apparently still dealing with the Super Bowl result. <laughs> I'm still deal dealing with learning about Father Christmas. <laughs> You'll get over it. <laughs> all the way back yeah Freddie a Seattle man and had a number of wagers that he had to come to Torrey Pines and settle <laughs> settle up on weekend the lead is only at five well, under you're thinking you can win the darn thing absolutely everybody makes the cut has got an opportunity 59 feet away for couples and uphill the entire way up through the valley difficult pot to get close Mm, hang on. Wow. Not part of the plan. This green is one of the most difficult on the golf course to read with this valley that runs down through it and just the way it's shaped into this hill slide. Wow. 
That's the problem Freddie has on the short ones. The shoulders just freeze a little bit, then the arms take over. And oh, that was a real chip, wasn't it? That was adding loft to that uh, putter head. Unforced there. And now Fred Couples. And Fred also with the eight iron. Yanked this well left. In that bunker, occasionally we've seen a ball plug or fry in that bunker, so we'll have to see. Well, maybe a couple hours of play here. 16. Yeah, this was a moment ago, Fred Couples. You really didn't make good contact here and get enough sand. Mm -hmm. Not good at all. Short sided. That was a downhill once it landed on the green. This was just earlier, Fred Couples for his par. And it was on the same line that Spieth was putting on. He's seven yards sitting right on that cut number. He'd love to stick one in here close, make a birdie. Make amends for those bogeys on 15 and 16 here with a good shot. picked up a little bit in the last 20 or 30 minutes. That 17 flag not moving much, but it's up there. All right, not bad. About 15 feet up the hill. 